Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the books that I plan to read during the month of July. First off though I want to apologise if you hear any thundery noises um, or anything like that at all. I am self-isolating because I recently came into contact with someone who has since tested positive for coronavirus so I'm kind of stuck in my bedroom um, with not much else to do other than film. Uh, but to allow some fresh air into my room I've got my window open and currently we have some stormy weather uh, passing over where I live so I'm getting the odd rumble of thunder in the background um, so I'm sorry if the camera picks it up I just wanted to let anybody know in case anybody's afraid because I'm petrified of thunder and lightning so having my window open uh, during a storm is, is not very good but I'm hoping filming is going to distract me anyway as you may also spot my shelves have had a bit of a change around um i if, ooh, you won't be seeing uh this after my book call my book call is going up after this um i've bought some more books and i needed to make space for them on my shelf and it was getting a bit tight because i um i was trying to show off a couple of series that i owned and really enjoy and I had to make the decision to change it around. I'm going to try and insert a clip here of me just giving you a brief chat through what the setup of the shelves is. Okay, so hopefully this is working and I've been able to upload it um, into the video. But I just wanted to give you a bit of a closer look at my shelves. So as you can see, I've rearranged them. This shelf used to be the shelf that had my Robert Jordan books on it. Um, and the shelf above is the shelf where you could see all of my Robin Hobb books. Um, so this shelf now, what was the Robert Jordan books? This is now all the books that I have actually read, bar a couple that are on the shelf above because there wasn't room. It is, I don't know if I can get in close enough. Uh, I think you can just about see that it is actually double stacked all the way along so there is all of my books that I've read in behind there some of these I haven't read so they will look really new so uh, the books here on this side Driven, Fueled and Crashed um, I've actually read them in ebook uh, the uh, books here by Mary E. e. Pearson I listened to them on audio um, <clears throat> again these two books by Samantha Towell Revved and The Two Week Stand they were both read um, on ebook but the rest have all been read so above here again I can't get high enough to show you but you might be able to see just here um, that it is actually double stacked as well so I've split up my series um, so where I had the Robert Jordan series and the Robin Hobbs together before on this shelf in the front I've only got the two books that are the next books to read in the series so Lord of Chaos and Force Assassin um, and again, same with the Lee Bardugo, Shadow and Bone series. I've just got St Siege and Storm here to be read. Um, you might have seen, actually, in my wrap-ups, if you've watched them already, that Starfell and Nevermore were previously read. So, And they're only there because there is no room on the shelf below until I give my nephew back his Secret Breakers books, and then I'll have um, room for a few more. But again, yes, that's completely double-stacked, and... Uh, I only have a little bit of room at the end where the this mug is and then I just have one more shelf to show you and that is the shelf here I'll just take the uh, odds and ends out of the way so my little bookish cameras and then my Lion King mug with my emergency Prosecco stash so this shelf here is um, all the paperbacks um, oh, sorry all the hardbacks that I haven't read plus a couple of paperbacks that didn't fit on uh, the other shelves because they were too tall. Um, and this huge paperback here, which is just far too big uh, to fit anywhere else. Previously, these were lying down on the other shelf, um, but they are now all stood up so that I can see them. I don't own many hardbacks. Um, these are the only ones I actually own. Uh, just, out of, just for interest here, yes, this is a hymn book that I was given. Um, when I was about nine, ten years old, when I used to belong to my local church choir. Um, so yes, so those are my shelves in a bit more detail. I'm probably going to change them again because I'm going to be replacing my bookshelves as well. 
uh, July is my birthday month. So I'm going to treat myself. I have some savings and I'm going to treat myself to a new set of shelves. Sadly, I can't get this shelf anymore. I can get it, but in a different colour. And I'm one of those people that needs their aesthetics like that to match. Um, this is quite an old shelf. This shelf is actually older than me. Um, this shelf is going to be going to the tip, sadly, um, because it's broken and falling apart. This shelf is going into my mum's room to replace one in her room that's broken. And then I'm going to get some nice new matching shelves, um, which hopefully will have a lot more space on them. Um, but I'll talk you through them, hopefully nearer the time when that's all been changed. So I've been rambling on for minutes now. I should actually get on with the books that I plan to read this month. Like I said, July is my birthday month. So I decided to take a month off from the in-depth read along that I've been doing because if you've watched my mid-year free cut tag and my goals tag, um, I've been feeling a bit meh about them the last couple of months. They've been good. I've enjoyed them. Um, just not quite as much as I had been and I really think that I need to just take a break from them. I've also decided to take a break from the randomizer wheel because it's my bath month and I should be able to read whatever I want. So I then had two options. I could either use July as a month to catch up on all of those books that I haven't yet gotten around to finishing because I have quite a few that are on my I'm in the middle of but um, really need to get a move on and finish list on my Kindle or I could be nice to myself and give myself an entire month where all I have to do is mood read and I can pick up what I want when I want. That being said I do still have a book club pick this month so I will go into that one as well but yes um, I decided that I would give myself a month off of everything. No fuss, no um pressure nothing i can just read what i want when i want so i can sit and scroll through my kindle and read what i want i can browse my own shelves and read what i want um and just get on with it so i decided that i was going to do that it's going to be a loose tbr it's not going to be a set tbr so if i don't get to books i don't get to books if i read different books from what i'm going to tell you here then i read different books but i'm just going to go through some of the books that i would like to maybe try and get to this month so like I say, the only pick that I have to read this month is the book club pick and this month we're reading Whistle in the Dark by Emma Healy. Uh, I don't have a physical copy of it. I'm, I'm actually respecting the book buying ban uh, for July. I'm not buying it on my Kindle. I have reserved a copy with the library, although heaven knows when that's going to appear. And if that appears this week, like I say, as I'm isolating, hopefully they'll let my mum pick it up on my behalf. Uh, if not, it could be quite tricky about when I can get there to get it. Um, Whistle in the Dark is about a woman, Jen, whose daughter Lana, 15-year-old daughter Lana, went missing for four days. Uh, when Lana is found, she refuses to talk about what actually happened to her. And Jen wants to reconnect with her and, again, try and work out what happened so that she can help her daughter in the best way. She then goes on to retrace Lana's steps uh, up to the point where she disappeared and I think maybe to try and retrace her steps beyond that point as well and try and figure out what happened to her and that's all I know about it. It sounds like it's going to be quite a good read, um, it's quite mysterious, a bit of a thriller I think. Um, maybe a little bit of suspense so I'm looking forward to it it has all the hallmarks of a book that I will enjoy so hopefully this will be a great pick for me the only other book that I really want to get to this month is one that's been on my TBR for about seven or eight months now and this is a book that I got through a NetGalley request but didn't get round to reading and reviewing before release date so as part of me trying to get my net galley rating up, uh, my net galley ratio up, I want to go back and because I can still leave a review for it um, because I did download it at the time. I just never got around to reading it. This book is called Meet Me in London and it's by an author called Georgia Toffolo. It's a romance novel. It's about Victoria, who is a clothes designer and Oliver, who is a, um, part of a family that runs department stores. Victoria is hoping to one day open a boutique. Sadly, that seems to be under threat when 
Oliver's company decides to open a department store in the same area where she wants to open her boutique. Oliver is also under additional pressure from his mother to meet her girlfriend that he's told he has but actually doesn't exist. So when he meets Victoria, he puts a proposal to her that if she helps him and pretends to be his girlfriend, then he will help her and showcase her designs through the department store. So this is a romance. Um, it's kind of um, an enemies to lovers fake relationship trope. So those are both things that I really enjoy reading. I don't know why I didn't read this at the time. I think I just got bogged down with everything else that was going on um, and never got around to it. It just wasn't in my head to, to read this as a romance at that point. So I'm looking forward to picking this one up and trying to get my net galley ratio up for uh, books that I've read. The next book that I'm going to um, try and read this month is a reread for me. It's a book that I like to reread as often as I possibly can. And that is Rose Matter by Stephen King. If you've been watching my channel for the last 12 months, then you saw me talk about this in November and in December and in my favourite Stephen King um, video that I put up uh, about a month or so ago. Um, this book is about a woman, Rose McClendon, who runs away from her abusive husband. She um, travels across America and starts a new life for herself. And then it's about what happens when her husband catches up with her. There's a little bit of magical realism in here. Um, it's a little bit of horror. It's a little bit of thriller. Um, it's also a little bit of hope. Um, it's also what not to do when a woman is scorned. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love this book. Uh, it's one of my absolute favourites. This is a copy that was gifted to me in November last year. Um, so I'm determined to try and not crack the spine through reading it through a second time. The next book I would like to try and read in July is a series continuation by an author who hasn't released a book for a few years. So I'm actually really quite excited to pick this up. And that book is Fury of Persuasion by Corrine Callahan. This is the fourth book in her Scottish Dragon series that she's been writing and this is about Viroth and Nicole. Uh, they meet when they are both imprisoned in a dragon prison. Nicole is Viroth's uh, option to escape from the prison. Will Nicole help him or will she run when the going gets tough? We will find out. That's all the synopsis says. Um, I haven't read a Corinne Callahan book for quite some time and I'm really really looking forward to picking this up. She has another one due at the end of July which I've already pre-ordered and the name is escaping me right now uh, but again that's in the same world um, although I think it might be based around the USA dragons rather than the Scottish dragons but I'm really looking forward to picking up her work again and immersing myself back in the world of her Night Fury and Scottish dragons. The next book I want to try and pick up is The Many Coloured Land by Julian May. This is the first book in her Saga of the Exile series. It's about a group of people that travel from um, modern day uh, England back to the Pliocene era. And they step right into the middle of a war between two alien races, which is taking place on Earth. And it's about how they try and build their vision of a utopia back in the Pliocene area amongst this issue that's going on. Uh, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I read her Gal Galactic Milieu series, which is kind of pre these books but not but after these books um i think i've explained this in another video and if i have i'll try and link it um up in the cards but i'm really looking forward to reading it i really enjoyed it uh it's science fiction and so there's lots of ums and ahs and oohs in there i really enjoyed uh the series before because of some of the things that came out of that um some things she's talked about that at the time she was writing these were probably ideas in people's heads, but actually weren't um, realities at that point. So it is quite interesting uh, from that point of view to read all those different things. And so I'm hoping that this book is going to be no exception. And then the next book that I want to carry on with um, is another priority. It's a recent purchase, but it is one that I actually did pre-order at the beginning of the year because I have been waiting for this book to come out since I read it predecessor uh, last 
spring um, and that book is Camelot by Giles Christian this is set uh, during the time of King Arthur although instead of being a retelling of the legends it's slightly more factual in its retelling uh, this book is going to be about Gawain and Galahad um, specifically about Galahad and it's about the adventures that he goes on in following Arthur and Lancelot and the rest of the Knights of the Round Table. I really enjoy reading retellings of the Arthur legends um, and these are a slightly different take because Arthur is not the main character. Um, in the previous book Lancelot, obviously Lancelot was the main character in Camelot. Galahad is the main character with Gawain in the background. So it's really refreshing to read a slightly different take on those stories. And then another series that I'd like to continue is the Shadow and Bone series. And specifically, I want to read Siege and Storm. This is a series by Lee Bardugo set in the world of Ravka, which I think is Russian based um, or that sort of Eastern European kind of um, setting. And it's about Elena, who in the first book found out that she was a sun summoner and the expectations on her that actually she can destroy a part of Ravka called the Fold, which is a dark area uh, that is full of evil beings that likes to eat humans. Um, it has split Ravka in two and there are lots of expectations on her. At the end of the first book, this book picks up where that left off. Um, and Alina has to go and work on her power and work towards being able to destroy the fold. Can't really say any more than that. Any To say any more would spoil the first book if you haven't read it. But I really enjoyed the first book when I finally managed to get through it in June. Um, and I'm looking forward to picking this one up and carrying on the story as soon as I can. Mm. And then I'm not going to take them all down from the shelves, um, but I do have... Um, and if I can just adjust it slightly, I might be able to get you to see them. So I do have, um, so I am thinking of Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan, which is book six in the Wheel of Time series. Um, I have The Willful Princess and The uh, Piebald Prince by Robin Hobb and then um, Falls Assassin, which is the first book in her Fits and the Fall series. Uh, Camelot's there. I've got The Institute by Stephen King and The Imaginary Corpse by Tyler Hayes. This kind of shelf here is all the books that are the priority that I want to get to. So um, I'm hoping that I'm not going to get through all of the books that I've just listed, um, but I'm hoping that having read some of those that I might be in the mood for more of them. So those are all the books that I'm hoping to read this month. Um, like I say, it's a very loose TBR. Those are all books I would like to get to if I can. Like I say, the only book I have to read is Whistle in the Dark. Everything else is just an option for me, depending on what I'm in the mood for. It's the 3rd of July right now. I haven't started a book um, in the last four days because I have no idea what I'm in the mood for and I've been waiting to film this video. Um, so I'm, hopefully by the time you see this, I will have picked up a book and I will have read at least part of something um but we'll find out at the end of july what i actually got to what are you reading in july please let me know in the comments down below i love to hear from you all down there if you have enjoyed this video then please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel i put up a video every monday at 6 30 p.m uk time uh and occasionally there is the odd bonus video. There are a couple of bonus videos going up during the month of July. So watch out for those. And I will see you all again in the next video. Bye.